Hello everybody, my name is Creator Cat, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. So last time we left off, we were partway through the first trial of Will Powers, so let's continue. Uh, we just uh, got partway through talking to Miss Oldbag about her testimony. Alright, the other person. Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos recorded on the security computer and check them. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. Come to think of it, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. <laughs> You're so bad. This is the first I've heard of this. Well, of course, Sonny. I've only just remembered it. Right. Anyway, Mr. Wright, please continue the cross-examination. Well, I'd say this was a turn for the unexpected, but I kind of expected this. <laughs> Alright, what do we have to think about? That's not important. Let's press that. How many photos are there usually? On a day when we're open to the public, we get more than 500 people. On my own filming days or rehearsal days, well, we don't have much money. We never get more than 50, that's a big day. Do you back up all the security camera data? Well, they keep telling me to, yes. But those computers are just for f so frustrating. Not any photos that aren't suspicious looking. How exactly do you determine what is a suspicious looking? Oh, you can tell by looking at their faces, for the most part. For the most part? This is a murder trial, Miss Oldbag. Well, I didn't touch that suspicious looking Will Powers photo, did I? I think she's missing the point. Come to think of it, I remember throwing out one photo that Well, who the heck was in that photo you erased? Oh, fanboy. Fanboy? Still a samurai fanboys. Real freaks, if you ask me. They get information about the rehearsals from gosh knows where. They're always hanging about. One was there that day. Objection! Wait a second. Didn't you just say no one else could get in? I locked the main gates so and no one could get in? Those were your words. Well... If you must know, there's a train that goes into the employee area. Right, we saw that. The grate has been loose for a while. It leads outside, and well, that's where they come in. They're coming through the drain? I told you they were freaks. Oh, and... And... They're kids, children, whippersnappers. Well, that would make sense. We did observe that it was small enough for a child to go through. Kids? So, on the photo that you were raised, it was a boy, probably two or second or third grade. <laughs> what? Now we gotta find out who that kid is. Oh, order! Order! Let's even get this straight. You saw two people pass by the gate on their way to the studios that day? One was a steel samurai dragging his leg. The other was a boy who ought to be in about second or third grade? Well, we see this tape here every day. Can't stop him. Can't catch him. Aren't you the security? A boy in second or third grade. Hmm. I assume it would be hard, if not impossible, for a young boy to wield the samurai spear. Impossible, I think. It's quite heavy. Well, right. As I said, I didn't pay him much mind. That's why I raised the data. Um, Nick? What's going on? I mean, the boy was there. That makes him a suspect. Yeah, and they're already trying to unsuspect him. This court will take a five-minute recess. I want the defense and the prosecution to consider this new information. And no forgetting vital information this time. Okay, well that causes a lot of problems. October 18th, 11.08 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. I forgot what voice I did for Mr. Powers. It's been way too long. Oh, gosh. Mr. Powers? I yes Let's just use that. Tell me straight. Were you really in the dressing room? You didn't go to the studio? <laughs> I didn't go to the studio. 
I was sleeping. Honest. So, who was the steel samurai in the security photo? Uh, how should I know? The steel samurai costume was off in the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and e taken it, really. What? You should take better care of that stuff. I couldn't imagine anyone would want to steal that s steel a steel samurai costume. I can't speak. So, where does this lead me? It doesn't look good. <sighs> Large sniff. You're the only one, like, you're the only likely suspect right now. Nick! What are we gonna do? First, we play for more time. We'll start targeting someone else that could have conceivably have done this. Right! And it'll take them so long to shoot us down that we can get another day! Right, but if we pick the wrong person, we might lose on the spot. You, you don't sound very optimistic. I'm not optimistic at all, actually. Hey, Nick, it's time. Okay, let's go. What does that mean? Please don't sigh like that. Another sniff. <laughs> okay, but who are we gonna blame here? Are we gonna blame the kid? Court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Ware Powers. Mr. Edgeworth, will you present the prosecution's thoughts on this matter? The prosecution's thoughts are simple. Nothing has changed. The other person who went to the studios was a boy of roughly ten years of age. The photo we do have many. Not many. The photo we do have may not be hard evidence. But there is still no one else that could have committed this crime. I call for a verdict of guilty for the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. Very well, Mr. Wright, the thoughts? The defense disagrees with the prosecution's claim. There is another person who could have committed this crime. Order! Interesting. Let us hear who have in mind. However, be aware that this court does not look kindly on accusing the innocent. If you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. Right, great. As if the stakes weren't high enough. So who is this person other than Mr. Powers that could have committed murder? Okay, uh... Save in case I mess up. Uh, let's see. Assistant girl, grade school boy. Probably the security lady, because... She was acting a little suspicious. Okay, so... The assistant girl we never really talked about, and she was about 14, so I'm not sh I'm not exactly sure how strong she is. So she could do it. Uh, the security lady is acting the most suspicious, but I'm not sure. The grade school boy is out of the question. Let's try the security lady. Who was the security lady? Wendy old bag. What? Well, who? The Steel Samurai is dragging his leg in this picture. That means whoever was in this suit knew about the morning's injury. Maybe because they had been watching the action scene run through. There was only one person other than Powers and Hammer who could have known about the injury. The security lady, old bag. What? What my snapper? Order! Order! Is this true, old bag? He's finally saying the Old Bag, that's Miss Old Bag to you. Miss Old Bag was standing guard alone in the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she had no alibi. She could have briefly left her post to steal the steel samurai costume. Then slipped into Studio One, the scene of the murder. Why would she go through the trouble of wearing the steel samurai costume? Simple, Your Honor. She knew about the camera at the gate would take her picture. If she was in his costume, she could point the finger at Mr. Powers. I see! Excellent deductive reasoning, Mr. Wright. Oh yeah, right here. Sherlock Holmes too, baby. Hmm? That's odd. Isn't this the part where Edgeworth pounces? Doesn't he usually jump up with an objection in some new dang evidence? Why, right, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? The prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. That's new. What? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, Swole, then I did it, is that it? Nitty boy, don't just sit there, do something. What's my move? Maybe now's my chance to take this hole away? Okay, oh gosh. Yep, save here again. Ugh, I hate it when there's a 
grass right here. Okay, uh, press further, I give get Granny a break. If I give her a break, that could be a problem. I'm gonna press further. The very same reasoning that makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case can be used to cast doubt on Miss Old Bag's actions that day. But why would I do something so horrible to poor Hammer? You forget that Mr. Powers lacks a clear motive, too. Hmm, indeed. That did it. Now Windbag is one of the suspects. No hard feelings, I hope. Wait just a minute! What about the other person who went to the studio? The boy! The one who photo I erased. He's only a grade school, though, as you said. Second or third grade, was it? That doesn't matter! When I was at that age, I could pin my own man in ten seconds tops! Hmm, your thoughts, Mr. Wright? That boy is not the killer. What? How can you be so sure? Oh, or is it to, or is it to be nice to the kids and mean to your elders, day? What a snapper. I have proof. P proof Indeed. But let's see the proof, Mr. White. You have proof that shows the boy could not have committed this murder? Uh have known about the injury, so it could be the photo or it could be the spear. Because the spear is really heavy. I can't save. Dang it. Um. Photo or... I'm gonna say the photo. I'm probably gonna get it wrong. <laughs> Your Honor, the murder weapon was a samurai spear. The very spear is shown here in this photo. How could the boy have taken the spear? It's impossible. I see. Where would the witness care to comment on this? <laughs> the windbag, speechless. This has got to be a first. She does ramble a lot. Very well. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Mr. Edgeworth? Please find out more about your witness, Miss Windy. What was her name? Something old bag, Your Honor. Then the prosecution will look further into this old bag before we continue. That is all. This court is adjourned. They're just making fun of her last name. Wait a second! I'm not gonna just stand, sit here while you run off barking for the wrong tree! Me! I'm talking! Court was just adjourned. You can't do that. Oh, great. Stop the presses. The windbag wants to talk. This old bag, what is this all about? The judge shouldn't be standing for this. Have you omitted something from your testimony? Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. N not to talk about? By whom? Huh, you mean it wasn't Hedgeworth who told her not to talk? That's a first. What, where to testify? The court was adjourned already, you can't do this! My lips were sealed. Great. The Broby of Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were some other people in the studios on the day of the murder. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? So they told me just to pretend they hadn't been at the studios that day. If you're going to go accusing me, I'm not letting them get away scot-free. Miss Oldbag! This is crucial information! Why'd you keep this from the court until now? Ain't you been listening? They told me to shut my trap, and I always do run, I'm told. No, this isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. Witness the witness the power of the old bag. <laughs> this is sad. Mr. Wright, cross-examination. He shouldn't be standing for this. This I don't think this is actually allowed. Uh so we already know what that is, and there are some other people at the studios. Um we need to know who those people are. Who are these people? Well, the director and the producer, for starters. The director? We shouldn't have... We should have known something was fishy. How could they have done a run-through of their action scene without a director? Of course. Yes, well, I was surprised no one talked about... asked about it. Because you never said anything about it. So where were these people? The director was in the employee area all morning for the run-through. 
and joined the producer around lunchtime, and they had a meeting after that. Where? Oh, in the Studio 2 trailer. Studio 2? There was a Studio 2? Well, if you look at the guide map. Oh, here it is. You go through the gate and all the way to the left. The path where the monkey's head was fallen over. That's not a monkey. Well, Mr. Wright, would you like to continue the cross-examination? I think I've already asked all my questions, but let's continue just in case. He said they had nothing to do with it. How could they be so sure? In his old bag, this is a trial for murder. I knew that, silly. Still, they were pretty convincing about having nothing to do with it. And they gave me a little bonus on the side. Great, so she was bribed. So you got a, your bonus and you still talk. Hmm, I think I've asked all the questions I have to ask. Let's do... I guess there's no harm in getting as much info as I can. I'm probably going to be total star bad right now. So they were actually in the studio? Yes, the whole day. Then they heard about the murder. They beat it before the cops came. That's suspicious. Ugh. Oh gosh. I'll kill this woman, I swear it. Yeah, I don't think- I- Edrith is regretting bringing her as a witness. I feel sorry for Edrith almost. She really left him hanging on this one. I'm gonna go accusing me and not letting them get away. Them? <laughs> we already talked about them! You know, I... Dang it. We talked about this! Now I got to spam on my keyboard. I don't want to continue. I'm done. Your Honor, we have learned there were others at Global Studios on the day in question. The director and the producer and uh, some bigwigs were all present. Yet, as we stand here, they have not been questioned. I hold that it's impossible to declare a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. Hmm. These are like, I'm done. The court acknowledges the defense's point. The prosecution will gather more evidence on the witness, Miss Oldbag. And more information about these other people we have just been told of. Oh, poor Hedgeworth. He is not having a good day. I understand, Your Honor. Sends the day's proceedings in the trial of Miss, uh, Mr. Will Powers. That is all. This court is adjourned. Again! And that's it. Alright, we're done. October 18th, 1.04pm. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 3. Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I was right of you to ask to defend me. Wait. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. Really, it's nothing. Where is I... Sniff. We be going down to the studios to do some more investigating. We have to find out more about this director and producer. We'll be turning up in the next trial as witnesses for certain. So now's my chance to get material for the cross-examination. So, Nick, have we figured out just who was in the Steel Samurai costume? Could it really have been... Could it really have been old windbag? What do you think, Mr. Will Powers? I don't think it was her, really. Neither do I, Nick. Yeah, I know. Look, I was just buying time back there. Someone had to be the bad guy for a bit to take the pressure off of Mr. Will Powers. Poor old thing bag. I feel kind of sorry for her. Well, she wasn't winning any points in there, with or without my accusation. Okay, let's get down to the studios. Right, we'll be back to visit you soon. Th thanks. Thanks, guys. Sniff. All right. Awesome, and so I think that's where I'm going to end off for now. That was the end of the first trial. Um, and now we're going to be probably exploring Studio 2 and figuring out what the heck's up with the producer and the director being missing. Or at least from the case. They're not missing overall. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Bye!